Two gentlemen you see right there, Paul Copioli, president of Vex Robotics, and Chris Bandura from Gladstone Secondary School. It's early in Anaheim. You woke up for us. Good morning. And, Paul, let's get it started. For someone just getting wind of, uh, of this championship, how big has this stage become? Yeah, this, this is a, a gigantic stage. We're filling the Anaheim Convention Center here in Anaheim, California. We have 760 of our best teams across the world representing 27 countries. Uh, the program has 10,000 teams worldwide. So this truly is the, the best of the best uh, uh, from across the world. And Chris, I'm seeing the Robo Savages hoodie sweatshirt. We saw it on breakfast television about a week ago. This is a really big deal for you. Tell us how many students from Gladstone are competing and how much time and uh, effort you all have invested in this. There's about uh, 30 of us uh, here in Anaheim, um, and uh, ever since September, uh, it started the journey uh, all the way till now. Uh, even with uh, just little robots, uh, that's uh, got us all the way through the year, and uh, we've kind of just built off of that. And we're looking at one of the robots right now. Now, Chris, you were saying uh, your coach is not releasing the robots you will have in the championship. You're going to keep it a secret, but uh, is this the average type of uh, robot you're going to see in, in this three-day competition? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is actually. Um, most of the robots here are uh, very, uh, very well made, and uh, it's just uh, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a fun competition actually. Fun factor undou undoubtedly at the forefront. Uh, Paul, tell us about this. The skills that uh, students are learning. Sure, they get to make robots, but it's a really unique three-day competition here. Yeah, absolutely. So really, it's, it's we say it's not about the robot, right? The robot is the vehicle. So robotics really tends to bring all of the engineering disciplines together. Uh, the competition aspect of this and the high pressure, high intensity, working with other teams really teaches these kids uh, to work under pressure, communication skills, teamwork skills within their team and outside of their team. Also, presentation skills because they have to talk to judges about certain awards and things like that. So it really brings along some of the application stuff for uh, for these students so what they're learning in the classroom they really can apply it here and and show you know the successes and failures in a real life situation oh man this is such a big deal not only for gladstone for richmond we're rooting for you guys chris what would you say is your favorite part of this uh, competition and what are you looking forward to over the next three days um winning <laughs> that's what that's gonna be my favorite part <laughs> and then Disneyland after <laughs> oh the happiest place on earth you gotta do it Paul what's involved with getting the world championship because it's a big title on the line yeah so these are uh, these uh, high school teams I mean the elementary school middle school and high school teams really uh, they have a, a quite a journey so they have to qualify at local events for their uh, either provincial or state uh, or regional championship and so they you have to do very well uh, in most cases winning that event to even qualify for the world championship and and uh, the, the number two they see the two on their jersey that's our team number so the, the the organization that the number two team is, they, they, these guys are class act. They have a, one of the top programs across the world. Uh, they've been former world championship and uh, world champions in previous years. Uh, so they're really a, a top-notch organization, and, and, they, and they're always represented here at the world championship every year. Well, it's a great number of students down there. Listen, Paul, Chris, thanks for waking up early and doing the spot. Uh, Richmond and the entire Lower Mainland, we're backing you guys, Chris. Good luck to you this weekend, and have some fun out there. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right, the boys, Vex Robotics World Championship. Learn about something new every single day.